<laughs> the premiers in the two kingdoms meet to explore areas of common interest varying from rich cultural heritage to stimulating a ravaged economy following devastating COVID-19 pandemic, which claimed his predecessor. Let me start with the, with the last one of a son-in-law. Of course, I come from the old school. We, we started regional integration uh, many years ago during the UBLS days. So that's where, that's how I became a son-in-law. And there are many uh, uh, Maswati who became sons-in-law and vice versa. So that works for us because we, we can operate informally. We must appreciate um, each other's challenges so that we can put them in context when we, we meet in this, this big fora. And that's why we, we're here. We also uh, looked at um, you know, the political situations in, in the region and, and, and in Africa. And, and uh, so how we, we, we can uh, support um, one another and how we can be um, innovative and, and make sure that our people don't suffer. We have an ample room to cooperate and to use our joint muscle to negotiate for things that are to the benefit of, of our people. From there, a quick appearance to the palace to have an audience with His Majesty. A grand entrance, a sign of welcome to the mountain kingdom. But as the saying goes, when in Rome, do as Romans do. The visit takes you back to a full historical cycle and an opportunity to experience firsthand on how Basutu survived many years of challenges to become the nation they are today. <laughs> The acting Prime Minister has come to Lesotho to simply strengthen the ties between the two kingdoms. The purpose is to make sure that ultimately they have shared economy with mixed ideas, such that they become the greatest kingdoms in Africa. I'm Rapelang Khatebe, Tababusiu, Lesotho.